Hey, what's up guys? It's Sam here. How are you guys doing today? We guys are having a fantastic day today. It is Sunday. Today is the Darlington race. And today is Sunday. And today is food day. And you know I'm fat because I'm out of breath. Just from talking. So guys, we actually did the Martinsville race last night for NASCAR Heat Evolution. There was a live stream and then I edited the video overnight. Actually, it was up until like 2.30 in the morning editing it, so. But anyway, we finished third. We finished third place. Yeah, but I mean, I will be honest, I had it on easy mode for that race, but that, that's still... There, there's no easy mode. If you're gonna if you're gonna want to win in NASCAR, you're gonna have to work. Whether it's on easy mode or hard mode. Look at this happy, cheerful weather today. Oh my god. I don't wanna. Whoa. It's weird. Sam, it's the Snapchat sound. Hey, did they ask Snapchat if they could use that? Guys, there's a typewriter on there, Olivia said. I could use it for editing. <laughs> that helps. Hey guys, I'm a food re food, YouTube food reviewer trying the caramel M&Ms. Oh my god, they fell. Mm. Oh my god, they taste good. Alright guys, we're going to Moe's. And then after that, I'm gonna get this haircut, this beautiful dew out of here. I don't know why. Well, if you didn't get the kids' menu, so she didn't get the free cookie. I don't want Well, if you got the kids' menu, you get the cookie. Dude, I got like sick yesterday because I ate too much fair food. I really do you not want You had too one. much cookies? No, I had too much fair food. Yeah, but cool. Guys, when we were coming in here, I was looking at myself, and then I looked into the window, and I was very disappointed. People are like, in, like people, people on inside the probably. Side are like, like, why, why is, is this guy? <laughs> Oh my god, where did it go? It's all gone. Oh my god. So guys, we have a double header today. We got the truck race and the cup race tonight. The truck race is on right now in Canada. They're doing the truck race at uh, Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. I'm not even sure like who all is racing. Green flag's back in the air. Come on, Justin Haley. He's in the 24. Or Noah Gregson or a first time winner. That's really what I'm hoping for. Kaz Grawl is the leader though. He won Daytona after that big crash happened. Here's a flashback of my reaction. I don't really care who wins. It's a nice feeling to just not really care who wins. Because usually I do. Oh, and there's trouble. Oh, crap. Done. Oh, my God. I thought, oh, he does go upside down. I think Gorala won that race. Kaz Gorala. Yeah, things are looking good right now. Cameron Haley is in second. Nine laps to go here at Canada. Here we go, guys. We got three laps to go around Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. I just want a first-time winner. Kaz Gorala's leading. He's already won a race, like I said earlier. Austin Sindrick, though, is in second. That'd be cool to see him win. There's Kaz Grala's mother right there. She is nervous out of her mind. I know I would be, too, though. I would be, too. Here we go. White flag is in the air. One lap to go around Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Here they are, the front stretch. Final lap. Will Kaz Grala win or will Austin Sindrick catch up? Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, my God. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, there it goes. There it goes Kaz Grala. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That was awesome. There's a stopped truck on the track. That is awesome. Austin Sindrick wins at most sport. Yeah, Kaz Grala is pissed. Kaz Grala is pissed about this. He said it was a dump and run. I disagree. I disagree. Big time. I would do whatever I had to do to win a race. I don't care if, I, if I'm going for my first win, if I'm going for a playoff spot, or I have 10 wins in the season. I will do anything that it takes for me to win. I don't care. I'd do anything for a win. And people who watch my NASCAR Heat live streams know that. Here we go. These are the Hall of Famers. There's Ken Squire right there. Richard Petty's on the track right now, and they've actually added a lap because he re he's refusing to get off. But yeah, that's a pretty cool car, uh, bringing back to the to the days before cameras existed and back in the dinosaur time. He's not getting off. It's pretty funny. They actually gave the king a black flag. I mean, he can do whatever he wants. He's the king. Like, did you win seven championships? Okay, there he goes. He's getting off the track. Let's go race it. Oh god, what happened to my TV? Okay, there. Oh god. Wow, it's like my computer. Of course, most appropriate time for this to happen is right when we're getting going. Didn't happen the whole truck race, could have happened this whole entire day. Didn't even happen during the pre-race show. Here we go. Green flag in the air, we are racing from Darlington. Southern 500. Kyle Busch falling back early. Caution is out, they were under commercial, but uh, Trevor Bain hit the wall, and apparently he's pissed at AJ Allmendinger. Oh, oh, that is, that's just uh, had nowhere to go. Kyle Busch won the race-off pit rule, that is awesome, and he beat Kevin Harvick too. Kyle and Kyle show right up here. Kyle Bush, Kyle Larson are going to be starting in the front row. Come on, Kyle. Any any of them, I don't really care. Okay, Kyle Larson passed Kyle Bush. So I actually have a viewer who's at this race right now, and I'm really trying to convince him to jump or, like, climb the fence. And he's on the back stretch right now, and I'm, I'm really trying to get him to do it because 
it'll be on TV. We'll get so much attention for it. Like that one guy who did it, remember that one guy who did it at Richmond and I think at Dover this year, some guy did it. I'm really trying to get him to do it. Before the, not, not like under caution. The stage is about to end in eight laps. I want him to do it like while we're racing. I told him I'll shout him out in all my videos if he does it. I feel so bad. It's like peer pressure right now. It's like, you know, it's like no, nothing's bad's gonna happen. Every All the cool kids are doing it, but he's like got the concessions right now. Got two laps to go on the stage, so I'll just tell him to wait till next stage. But no, I'm saying like it'll be the experience of a lifetime. You'll be 18 in like six months, so your parents can't really do anything after that. And all, all that will happen is you get kicked out, like... You'll get so much attention for it on the media, like, it'll be, you'll be all over YouTube. You'll get so much subs. You know, I, I think you should do it. And Kyle Larson wins stage... Um... Uh, Truex wins stage number one. Wow, Truex is back to the staging winning. This better not be a race that Truex freaking wins. So we got the other announcers right now. We're about to go back green. Kyle Larson, Truex, front row. Daniel Suarez has an issue. He bounced off the wall, and now he's like, has fire underneath him. What if that explodes on the guys? Why do you keep calling him Jones Boy? Do you like not know his name? Back green here at Darlington. Kyle Larson's keeping the lead. Truex short behind him. See, both of the years that we've had a freaking throwback race, nobody with a throwback scheme has won. Last year it was Truex and he had a boring scheme. The year before it was Edwards and he had a normal scheme. Cody Ware and AJ Allmendinger are in trouble. There's a crash. I missed it. See, all the crashes happen when I go to the bathroom at Indy. Clint Boyer, that Kurt Busch wreck. I, I was in the bathroom and then I came back and all that happened. So it's Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch on the front row. Yes, come on, Kyle. You got this. Let's get back-to-back -back wins. Green flag is in the air. We are back racing from Darlington. Come on, Kyle. Oh, he looks like he's going to fall back on this restart. Yeah, see. The outside lane's not really helpful. Got to have that inside. And caution is out for David Reagan. Caution is out for debris with 105 laps to go here at Darlington Raceway. Things are getting heated. Hope we can see some more action within the last 100 laps. So Denny Hamlin was doing so well and then he missed pay road entrance like that. Kyle Busch is now peeing. Um, I think he'll be the leader when we come off because he... It'll cycle around, you know. Okay, guys, so we don't have that many laps to go. We got 30 laps to go around here at Darlington. Things are starting to get heated up. Strategy, everything. Um, I know that Zlowski pitted and then a bunch of other people pitted, so things are getting really interesting right now. Kyle Busch just got past Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch is probably going to have to pit, which means that Truex is going to have to pit because Truex pitted one lap before Kurt Busch did. So, guys, you know what I'm thinking is going to happen? Exactly what happened at Kentucky. At Kentucky, what happened is uh there was like Truex was leading with a big had a big gap like 14 seconds if Denny Hamlin does not catch up to Truex I think there's gonna be a caution and how does that have anything to do with it because they're gonna rig it they're gonna make it more interesting for the fans because they're gonna put out a caution and I like that I mean it's not really deserving of a caution but I do like it I'm not gonna complain about a caution oh trouble no caution come on Hamlin you got this bro Come on. Here comes Hamlin. Oh, he's in the wall. He's in the wall. Truex is in the wall. Denny Hamlin is going to win at Darlington. Nice job. Awesome. Southern 500. Well, that's pretty cool. Denny Hamlin managed to get the win at Darlington. Kyle Busch is second. That's awesome. Nice job for Denny Hamlin, though. That is super cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this vlog right here for you guys tonight. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you share this video on MySpace. And as always, Sam for Korean Leader.